Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be comparing two numbers. We have 2 to the power 100 plus 3 to the power 100 and 4 to the power 100. And we're going to try to figure out which number is larger. Okay, let's start with what's on the left hand side. 2 to the power 100 is less than 3 to the power 100, right? Because the base 2 is smaller. So, first we establish that. Now, I'm going to be adding 3 to the power 100 to both sides so that we can get the expression on the left. So, we have 2 to the power 100 plus 3 to the power 100 less than 3 to the power 100 plus itself. And now, we have what is on the left hand side. How can we turn the right hand side to 4 to the power 100? Or turn it into something we can compare to 4 to the power 100. Make sense? Okay, great. So let's go ahead and proceed as follows. Notice that this expression on the right hand side can be written as 2 times 3 to the power 100, right? Great. Now, we're going to go ahead and work on this expression until we are ready to compare it to 4 to the power 100. Ready? First of all, I want to break this down. So let's start with this. 2 times 3 to the power 100 can be written as 2 times 3 to the power 3 times 3 to the power 97. Great. Now notice that 3 to the power 3 is 27 and 2 times 27 is 54. So this can be written as 54 times 3 to the power 97. Now why is it important? Why did we separate the 3 to the power 100 into these two pieces? So here, here's the point. We want to be able to compare this to 4 to the power 100. And for that, we're actually going to break down the 4 to the power 100 the same way. And the reason why we do that is, if you think about it, 3 to the power 97 is less than 4 to the power 97, right? If you multiply both sides by 3 to the power 3, obviously the right hand side is bigger, right? Because it's already bigger. But what happens if we multiply this side by 3 to the third and this side by a larger number? Make sense? So when you multiply the larger side in an inequality by a larger number, obviously, it's still going to be larger. It's going to be even larger. Well, there's no even larger, but it's just going to be larger still, right? So let's go ahead and set it up like this. So I just wanted to show you real quick what the setup is going to be like. Now we're going to be able to compare this now. Notice that 54 times 3 to the 97 is less than 64 times 3 to the 97, right? Because 54 is less than 64, and definitely this is less than 64 times 4 to the power 97. I think when we write it this way, it kind of makes more sense because we have a chain of inequalities. Makes sense? 54 is less than 54 is less than 64, as you can see here, and obviously 4 to the power 97 is greater than 3 to the 97. Makes sense? Great. Now here's what we proved. We proved that this number is less than 64 times 4 to the power 97. Make sense? Okay, so let's go ahead and erase the bottom part and uh, so we can just conclude it. Now, here's what we're going to do next. We have 2 times 3 to the power 100 and it's less than 64 times 4 to the power 97. Directly we can say that, right? But 64 is 4 to the third power. That's why I picked and compared it to 54 because we, we're going to be able to combine these two powers. Make sense? So now this is what we have. 2 times 3 to the power 100 is less than 4 to the power 3 times 4 to the power 97, which is 4 to the power 100. Let me rewrite it. 2 times 3 to the power 100 is less than 4 to the power 100. Awesome. That's what we wanted to get. And now notice that 2 to the power 100 plus 3 to the power 100 is already less than that. So if you put these two together, we have 2 to the power 100 plus 3 to the power 100 is less than 2 times 3 to the power 100, which is less than 4 to the power 100, which implies that 2 to the power 100 plus 3 to the power 100 is less than 4 to the power 100. Therefore, the larger number, the winner, is 4 to the power 100. I'm pretty sure there is another way to look at this problem, but I kind of find this 
you know, pretty intuitive and hopefully easy to understand. Now let's go ahead and take a look at some numerical values. All right. So first of all, we're going to look at the value of the left hand side, which was the 2 to the power 100 plus 3 to the power 100. Very large number that can be written as roughly 5.2 times 10 to the power 47. So it has a lot of digits. It's a pretty large number, but focus on the power of 10, right? Which is 10 to the power 47. And then we have 4 to the power 100, which is roughly 1.6 times 10 to the power 60. So this number is actually probably roughly 10 to the power 13 times bigger. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and... Bye-bye.